Hi, this is Sammy again. I'm gonna do a question with derivatives. Um, also finding the equation of the tangent. So basically just finding the equation of a tangent to the function y equals tan brackets x squared plus two x. So stay tuned. So here's the question. Uh, so when they give you this kind of question, what they want you to do, you have a tan graph and uh, you know somewhere along the curve um, at zero zero you, you have you know you draw a tangent and you, what you want to do a tangent is a straight line so you want to find the equation of that straight line so um, what we start off doing is uh, first thing is we need to find the derivative of this equation so the derivative of this equation right here if f of x equals tan x squared plus two x. And you wanna take the derivative of this. The first thing you have to remember is your chain rule. So what you do, the first thing you do, the derivative of tan. So the derivative of tan is secant squared. And you know, I'll be showing you how to prove that the, uh, the derivative of tan is secant squared um, next in another video. And then you write the x squared here plus two x the same way. Now this x squared plus two x, you, you, you're doing the secant of that. So this is attached to the secant. After that, now you multiply by, after you did the derivative of the tan, now you have to go on the inside, you know, and start doing the derivative of this, which is gonna give you the derivative of x squared is just two x and the derivative of two x is just two. Yeah. Now this part right here, if you want to rewrite it, goes right in the front. You're not secant. You're not taking the secant of this. You're taking the secant only of this. This gets multiplied into the secant if you want to rewrite it. So you have two x plus two. The secant square of x squared plus two x, which is the angle right here. Um, now they asking you to find the tangent at point zero and zero. So what you want to do, you want to sub in zero and zero in here. Okay, so if we sub in zero and zero here, so sub zero and zero, I'm going to get f of f prime of zero. And basically what you're doing, you just sub in the x value because you don't need the y value, right, in this situation right here. Okay, so f of f, of f prime of zero equals two times zero plus two secant squared of zero squared plus two times zero, which gives you here two secant squared of zero. So now I'm just gonna show you the cos graph here. The cos graph, the cos of zero is one, okay? So therefore the secant is the reciprocal of cos. So basically, the reciprocal of one is just one. So as I'm saying, cos zero right here equals one. And secant is the same as one over cos, isn't it? That's what secant does. So one over cos zero, which is one over one, which gives you one. That's what secant does, okay? So it gives me two. The secant of zero is one, and then you square the secant, that's just two times one squared, which gives you two. So now we're gonna go find the equation of the tangent, which is a straight line that follows the rule y equals m max plus b. Now m is the slope, which is that's that's m right here. M equals the slope. So when you do f prime, f prime just means the slope at that specific point. And we have the point zero and zero that's given to us, and the slope being two. Now we plug everything in here to find out what b is. So I got zero equals m which is two times zero plus b zero equals zero plus b b equals zero so therefore your equation will be y equals two x since b is zero you don't have to write that and therefore your answer will be a for this question okay So again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, 
and also share with others. Uh, you know, I, I want as many students as possible to benefit from this. Um, I have a good way of simplifying math. Success in learning, success in life. Success in learning is a better society. Uh, thank you for watching again. Till next time. Bye bye.